Uh, in this video, members, we are going to learn how we can calculate the average in Microsoft Excel. Uh, but to start with, uh, first of all, what do you think average is used for? So the use of average, also known as the mean, is to calculate the central tendency or average value of a set of data. It is a statistical measure that provides an indication of a typical or representation value of a group of numbers. It helps in understanding the data set by giving a rough idea of how the data behaves in general. For example, you can use the average to find the average temperature, average sales, average age of group of people in a given set of data. So uh, for example, I have here uh, this, uh, uh, these numbers. Uh, this number could be like sales, uh, sales of laptop. Uh, the sales of laptop A. So this is how laptop A was sold in dollars. Now I'm told to calculate the average of this, uh, of all these sales for A. So I'm going to be calculating the average. So to calculate the average, of course, uh, there are some steps you have to follow. Uh, first and foremost, you need to select like the range of cells you want to find the average of. So and the fire first, I'm going to enter the formula, uh, which is the equal sign first. After that, I will type average, and that is uh, the formula. Then from there, we now put the range. That is uh, now ranging from AC23. I say C23. This is because the first cell of the value is uh, in cell reference of C, uh, C23. Then I'll use semicolon. Semicolon is the same as the length. Semicolon represent the length. So after putting the semicolon, I go ahead and put the last value, uh, which is the C31. Normally I have to read the column, and then after reaching the last value, you read the law in that value so it's going to be c23 so i say c i mean c31 so after that go ahead and close the bracket after closing the bracket uh, what is next is press enter or click the green check to calculate the what uh this is a green check you can hit on that or you can press enter on the keyboard so after that you will be able to see the average uh, of this uh, so uh, for example uh, maybe we can um, put other values an example two that's example one uh, we can say example two example two i have sample number say 45 uh, this i have this i have this this could be temperature in the month of january so one to calculate the average temperature in, in January. So what I'm going to do to get the average, to get the average, I'll go ahead and put average. Uh, then here I'll say equal sign. Then I put average function. Uh, I'll open the bracket. Then I put the first value, which is E23. I put the semicolon for the range. After that, I will have to enter the last value of the cell reference, which is E, E30. And I go ahead and say E30. Then I close the bracket. After that, I'll go ahead and hit uh, enter or press enter on the keyboard or press the green uh, sign for enter. Uh, then I'll be able to see the average for all these values. So normally that's how we can create the average in Microsoft Excel uh, 2016. I know even in other version, this is the similar way we can create the average. Uh, so in the next video, we are going to look at how we can uh, 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 do a uh, workout uh, with different other functions, uh, which are related to statistics, and then see how best we can apply them in our daily life. Thank you guys. Let's catch up in the next video.